Hi everyone, welcome to Total Body Toning. In Total Body Toning, we're set up for three standing exercises. Then we're gonna take a halfway break and then we'll do three ground exercises. So let's start with the three standing. We're going to do reverse lunging, alternating legs. So reverse lunging, you can face towards a wall, sideways to a wall, no wall. I'm gonna to face towards for my own sake. So eyes are up, you're going to step back, coming down in your stance. Coming all the way up, and then we're going to alternate to the other side, okay? So we're just going to go back and forth like that. Your alternative, if you don't feel comfortable doing lunging, would just be just to do some stationary squats, right? Just nice and easy. So that will be kind of your modified exercise. If you're good with lunging, we'll do lunging. We're going in a reverse step, okay? So make sure you got some space behind you. Here we go. A tall posture. Go ahead. Stepping back and down. We're back up. Good. Take go down nice and slowly. Also, only go as far as you feel comfortable going down. You don't have to go all the way down to the ground. You can go very small. You can go medium. If you feel okay with going to the ground, you can go to the ground. We're gonna do a 45 second first round. We're gonna go one more each leg. Here's our last one. Good, and we'll stand all the way up tall. You're gonna grab a weight, I would say anywhere in the five to 10 pound range is okay. If you have something smaller, that's fine too. This is a two part exercise. It's a bent over row straight arm pullback. So I'm gonna use a chair just for my forward posture. You don't have to, you can use just your leg. We're gonna go right hand to start, so that puts our left hand and our left foot out in front. We take a forward lean. We're gonna do two parts. First part, pulling up, letting the arm all the way down. Second part, keep the arm straight, pull back. So you go pull up, pull back, pull up, okay? So we'll go with the right hand, nice forward lean. And here we go, pull up. Arm comes all the way down, straight arm pull back. Only go to your shoulder height. Do not go higher than your shoulder with the weight. Good, I'm gonna have you keep that rhythm. Yeah, pulling up, pulling back with a straight arm. You got one more up, one more back. Good, all right, we'll stand up. We're gonna change hands. Let's go to the left hand. Right arm goes out in front, okay? Same idea, forward lean. We're gonna lift up, pull back. Here we go, go ahead. Make sure you keep the pace slow. You don't want to swing the weight back. You want to do a slow pull. So slow pull up, slow let down. You're going to do a pull back with a straight arm and also a slow let down with that straight arm. So everything's slow. We've got 10 more seconds. That should leave you time for two of each. Pull up, pull back, pull up, pull back. Good. When you're done that, you can place the weight off to a side. We'll just do a little balancing slash calf exercise. Um, the way I want you to try first is a single leg calf raise where you can lift one leg up or wrap it behind the other one. You're just going to push up, push up on that foot. If you want to do a free space, that takes a little more balance. If you need to hold on to something, you can. And lastly, if you're doing a single leg and it's a little too much, just do both legs together, okay? So uh, we're gonna do a single leg, so it doesn't matter which leg you wanna do, you can lift up or tuck behind. Here we go, you can focus on balance. If you don't wanna hold onto a wall, if you want better balance, hold onto a wall. Good, keep going. <laughs> Thank you. 
You got three to go. Last one. Okay. Just change legs. If you're doing both legs, you can just do another set of both legs. Here we go. Up and down smooth, right? Easy on the heel. That way you don't send that impact right up to your spine. I want to keep the force nice and light on the back. Three more. Two. Last one. Good. All right, we'll take 10, 15 seconds. We're going to do reverse lunging again. So you have reverse lunging with a wall, without a wall, or your alternative, your modified exercise would just be a set of squats. All right, if we're ready to do lunging though, we're gonna alternate each leg each time, and we're gonna go in a reverse direction, okay? So let's go in five, four, three, two, one, here we go. Nice and easy on the way down. We want to keep the impact low, just like most exercises. Fifteen seconds to go, a forty-five second set on this round. Last one. And we'll stand all the way up. All right, let's grab a weight. We have our bent over row, straight arm pullback. So most of you are probably just gonna use your leg. If you want to, you can use something around you. I'm gonna use a chair. Um, we're gonna, let's go right hand with the weight, left arm, left foot forward. Good forward lean. And here we go. We're going to pull up with the weight, bring the weight all the way down, keep a straight arm, pull the weight back. Bend the elbow, pull the weight up, slowly on the way down, and bring it down. Okay, so smooth up and smooth down for both of these. So you're going to pull back and pull up. We'll go one more of each. We'll stand up. Let's change hands. All right. So I'm left hand, right arm, right foot out in front. Here we go. And if you're backwards, that's okay. Just make sure your opposite foot and opposite arm are out in front of the weight. So if your weight's in your left hand, it means your right arm and right foot are forward. And vice versa. We're gonna go one more of each. And when you've done that, you can stand up, you can place your weight down. And we'll get ready for a single leg calf raise. This is a calf exercise, bottom of your leg. Okay? So, you have the choice of doing two at the same time if you need something modified. If not, we're gonna do a single leg. Either lifting a leg up or wrapping it behind, holding on to something or not. Let's go in three, two, one, here we go. Smooth up, smooth down, don't come down hard on the heel. If you wanna hold on to something to help that, I'd rather have you hold on to something and come down easy. Three, two, last one. Okay, we're gonna take a second. Let's take the other leg, bring it behind the other one. 
And here we go, we're up. So nice and smooth up, smooth down. You don't need to wait for the next one. This will be our third round through. So let's start with our reverse lunging or squats. If you're going to do squats, reverse lunge, you need space behind you. Make sure nothing's behind your feet because you're going to step back. So if you're doing reverse lunging, start standing up tall. And here we go. Going down, standing all the way up tall again. You want to finish off with good posture, standing up nice and tall. Fifteen seconds to go. One more of each. Last one. We're all the way up. All right, let's grab our single weight. We have our bent over row, straight arm pull back. Okay, so I'm going right hand with the weight. So left arm, left foot in the front. You can do the opposite. Just make sure you have the right uh, arm and leg set up. Take that nice forward lean. And here we go. We're going to pull up. Pull back nice and slow. Pull up. You want to keep your arm really close to your side. On the way up, you're dragging your elbow in. And on the way back, you're going to keep your arm really close. Let's go one more up, one more back. Then we'll stand up, we'll change hands. Change the feet. Take a nice forward lean again. Go ahead. Pull up, pull back. Slow pace, elbows close to your body. You wanna keep your arm nice and tight to your side. All right, we got one more of each. Good, we'll stand up, we'll lose the weight. You can stand next to a wall if you plan on doing your calf raise with a wall. If you're not, just do it in free space, work on balance. Again, I'd rather have you hold on to something than come down really hard on the heel, okay? So, pick a leg. Or you're going to do both legs if you want a modified version. Here we go. And we're up. We have a 30 second each leg. Two more. Last one. Good. Take a pause. Let's change legs. Here we go. 
Three to go. Two. Last one. Good. All right. Grab a, a water break if you'd like a drink or whatever you're drinking. Um, we're going to do ground exercise for the second half. So bring your, your weights down and we'll do some exercise on the ground. I'll give you a good 45 seconds to get set up on the ground though. Okay, let me show you our first exercise. We're going to lie on our back. We're going to have both weights. This is a back exercise, a core exercise, and a little bit of your chest. So, this is an overhead pullover. We've done this in class before. Very good core stabilizing exercise. So, feet go on the ground. You have bent knees. We go straight up in the air with the dumbbells, click them together. Slowly, our arms come up overhead. As far as you're comfortable with. Some people can go all the way to the ground. If you can, that's great. If you don't feel comfortable going that far, don't force it. Then you pull all the way back to the top. So it's just an overhead motion back to the top, okay? So grab your weights, lie on your back. We have bent knees. Let's go straight up in the air with the weights to start. Click the weights together. And here we go, up overhead. It's important to keep the weights together. That helps give your shoulders some stability. Can we go up overhead? Make sure it's a slow motion too. We're not going to go really quick up overhead. So there's another 45 seconds. So we have three to go. Two more. Last one. You're going to bring your weights into your body. You're going to place it down to the sides. This next one's a core exercise. I'm going to show you the exercise. I cannot join you on this one. But this is going to be a three-angled crunch. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep the legs bent. You're going to have the feet on the ground. You can place your hands to the side of the head or up to the shoulders. We're going to go in a three angle crunch. So that means I'm going to crunch up to my left, just very little with the shoulder blades. Bringing it down, I'm going to the middle, bringing it down. I'm going to the right, bringing it down. Then I'm gonna come back to the middle, and then back to the left. And we're just gonna go those three different angles, okay? So it's just a small crunch, not a full setup. So we're flying our back, put the feet on the ground with some bent knees. You can go, like I said, hands to the side of the head or up to the shoulders. Do not pull on the back of your head. And here we go, up to a side, come all the way down, up to the middle, all the way down, and off to the other side, all the way down. We're going to come back to the middle. Just keep holding that rhythm. It is very helpful on your neck to not look towards your knees. You're going to look more towards the ceiling. So you kind of keep your head back with your shoulders. Just hold that rhythm. Yeah, you want to come all the way up that crunch, come all the way down with the head so you get that full range of motion. Another 45 seconds. So we got five, four, three, two, one. Take a pause. Good. All right, we're going to stay in our back again. So all three exercises are on the back. There's going to be another core. We're going to do a little bit of a core series here. All three exercises have core in them. So this is our dead bugger. Dead bugger, we're going to pull the legs up off the ground so we have some bent knees. Arms go straight up in the air. This is my start position. I have bent knees, straight arms. We're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg. You kind of extend out. 
And then you pull back to the top. Then you go other arm, other leg. Slowly. And then back to the top. So it's a back and forth, alternating arm and leg, okay? So let's start with the pulling the legs up. Go with the arm straight up in the air. This is our start point. And here we go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. I think most of you have done this in class before. It can get a little tricky with coordination. So if you feel like you lose it or you lost your rhythm, just start from the beginning, which is with the bent knees and the arm straight up in the air. And then you can kind of restart from there. Opposite arm, opposite leg. And we're going back and forth for 45 seconds. Nice straight arm, nice locked leg if you can. Straighten that leg out. If not, that's okay. You can go a little bit closer. You don't have to straighten it out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a pause. Good, bring the legs down. We can grab our weights. So, the second half of class, we're gonna do three ground exercises three times through. So, we're gonna do that first one again. This is the overhead pullover. This is a back, core, chest exercise. So, we go bent knees, feet on the ground, weights go up in the air. We're gonna click the weights together. And here we go, we're gonna go up slowly overhead. Again, don't force your weights to the ground unless your shoulders are okay with it. Feel like it's not good for you to go that far, then don't push it. Also help to keep a nice tight core when you do this exercise. We got two more. Last one. Back to the top. I always like to pull the weights into my body first and then place them off to the side. It just decreases the risk of injury on your shoulders. The next one we have is our three angle crunch. Okay, so I'll give you a quick demonstration. If you forgot, you put the hands to the side of the head or up to the shoulders. You're going to go to the left, to the middle, to the right, and then back through that series. Okay, so lie on your back, bent knees. You can either go to the side of the head or up to the shoulders with the hands, crossing your arms over. And here we go. Up to a side, all the way down, up to the middle, all the way down, off to the right, all the way down. Just hold that rhythm. Trying to keep your eyes up on the ceilings, not looking towards your knees. That's going to make our head come forward, kind of put that extra stress on our neck. But if we keep our head back with our shoulders and we look up at the ceiling, yes, the neck may get tied, but we're not going to hurt the neck. We have 10 seconds. Five, four, three, Two, one, good. Take a pause right there. We have our third exercise. This will be the last one in round two. This is the dead bug. I'll give you a quick demonstration again. Arms go up in the air. The legs are going to come up off the ground with some bent knees. We go opposite arm, opposite leg. If you can straighten out, great. If you don't think you can, just keep it a little bit closer to your body and we go back and forth. Let's go in five seconds. Pull the legs off the ground, arms go in the air. Here we go. Nice and slowly, opposite arm, opposite leg. Again, if you lose your rhythm, just go back to that start point where your arms are in the air and your legs are off the ground. And just try it again. We got 15 seconds. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Okay, take a break. Third round through, final set. Grab your weights, bring them into your body. You can rest them right on your torso. We have bent knees. Let's go straight up in the air with the weights, click them together. And here we go, overhead. Nice slow pace. This one is very important to not go overhead quickly. Yes, it's a safe exercise, but you have to do it slowly. And also tighten your core. Fifteen seconds, that gives us three to go. We can do two more. It should take you about five seconds to do each one. Here's our last one. Okay, we'll bring the weights into your body, off to the side, safest on the shoulder. Number two. No weights, bent knees. You can go hands across to the shoulders. You can go hands to the side of the head with the elbows wide. So our three angle crunch, just barely getting the shoulder blades up, okay? Let's go with five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, so you pick a direction, come all the way down. Go up to the middle, come all the way down. Go off to the other direction, all the way down. Try to look up, not towards your knees. Up at the ceiling. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, okay, take a break. We're gonna take a 15, 20 second break before this last one, which is gonna be a dead bug, which will kind of rest our core a tiny bit. The dead bug is with the legs up, and the arms go up, so go ahead, you can pull the legs up, get the arms up to the ceiling. We're gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg. And here we go. Opposite arm, opposite leg, pull back to the top. Other arm, other leg. Nice slow pace, we're looking good. We got 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, and you can relax. Thank you for coming to class.